Hello everybody, it's Chili Chill back again here and today I'm gonna eat chili all by myself right after this. Here I am again. The Scotch bonnet pepper is uh, originated from uh, the Caribbean, Jamaica mostly. And uh, this is the first one I harvest uh, from my from my own crop, so quite small actually. But in Jamaica or in the Bahamas, they use this in the in the in the cuisine. I'm just gonna cut it open so you can see how it looks. Um, <laughs> Just about to say it, I love it. Oh, and the smell of this is so, mm, so nice. I can just smell all the fruity flavors in this lovely pepper. I've had this pepper for a while, and I and I made a, a hot sauce. Uh, based on this pepper um, so This is my Caribbean sunshine Hot sauce and it's uh, This is the one I sell most of uh, And it tastes real good you can have it on everything almost everything It's just imagination that stops you so I can see in this pepper here it's quite few seeds. It's a capsicum tannins pepper and it has it has the most mm, beautiful flavors. The smell of this is just oh, unbelievable. I know what I know what this tastes like, but because this is the first pepper uh, that I harvested this season, I just had to make a video of it and try it. So here we go. Here it goes. Down in my mouth. Cheers, guys. Mm. Oh yeah, this was hot. This one was quite hot. <laughs> Harder than I expected, actually. Oh yeah, it's burning in my whole mouth and in the back of my throat. Uh, it's a capsicum tannins, as I said, and uh, the heat level of it is between 100 to 350,000 square heat units. So you you definitely can feel it, and it's um, it's uh, closely related. Related to the habanero pepper. Oh yeah, it was hot. But this is this is by far my favorite pepper. Oh, so juicy! It's so tasty. Uh, you have a smoky flavor. Uh, you get the. You really get the Caribbean feeling of this. And that makes me... It just makes you happy. Uh, actually, it makes you happy. And... Uh, um,
They make a lot of jerky in uh, Jamaica and uh, they rub the jerky with the scotch bonnet. That's one of the ingredients and uh, Jamaica was one of the first made jerky and uh, the scotch bonnet uh, was is one of the ingredients in the jerky from Jamaica. Oh, it's hot. This was on a top scale of this 100 to 350,000. I've grown this in dirt um, and I have some bigger pots and you can see a picture of it here. And um, they are coming quite soon, they grow fast. It says it takes about 100 days from uh, germination, germination to, to harvest. I think I'm about around 90 I think, so quite close. <sighs> yeah, it's burning, it's hot. Hot, hot, hot. My tongue is on fire, the back of my throat is the worst. But it's, uh, it's absolutely manageable. So if you haven't tried the uh, Scotch Bonnet Yellow, I highly recommend it. And I highly recommend this hot sauce. You can find it on chilichel.no. Link in the description. Whew. Yeah. This was a good one and a tasty one. You have a good aftertaste on it. Taste uh, that comes and goes amongst the heat is it's lovely. It's so fruity and um, yeah, you you really get the Caribbean feeling of this. You're on a vacation in the Caribbean. That's not often you get that feeling from a pepper. Just gotta try the Scotch Bonnet Yellow, guys. It's a good one. And you won't regret growing it. It's a high yielder, it grows very large and bushy. And it's um, producing a lot of pods. So it's, um, it's a nice plant to grow. And uh, especially nice when you get peppers with so many flavors and that's why I put it in this and it's only scotch bonnet yellow in this because I want to preserve the taste the ta good taste of the pepper so this um, Jamaican scotch bonnet the yellow the yellow variety of it so it's my favorite definitely my number one favorite I have the favorite number two. I will make a video of it and I will reveal which one it is. It's not one of the strongest one. It's not even as strong as this, but it's so good. <laughs> and I was talking to another person here on the phone the other day. And he saw the video of it. Uh, in the Norwegian version. Hi there, boy. Fantastic. So, hopefully, I can give that feeling to you in English this time. And once again, thank you to Trollheimer for making me this knife. And as you can see, it was very sharp. Just carved right into it. So yeah, that was it. Right. Uh, before I quit here, I just had a side project. I just had some fun with <laughs> making my own logo. This board, I will make a new one and make a better one. This was just a test. So, I hope you're happy. And please follow me. Just push the like button on YouTube. 
Facebook, Instagram, and um, please share and, uh, and comment. Uh, when I reach 250 subscribers, there will be a video of me screaming, shouting. I don't know. It will be rough. I promise you. So 250 subs subscribers. I'm not looking forward to it, but I'll do it for you guys. Only you guys. So see you later. Bye.